you have ever lost is in here. How the lines on your face were written. How you could not afford your own face. How your face was a battlefield, deserted, a war between parents. How your pockets were tunnels and you were lost in them. How no one came, even though you called all night. How your call was the sound of something small breaking. How your teeth were tower blocks in which only white ghosts lived. How your skin was a lost birth certificate. How your birth certificate was proof of your death. How they stole your smile to store on a high supermarket shelf. How the industry unmade you. How your tongue was a conveyor belt and you could not make the words fast enough. How your soul was kept well fed in a zoo. How the zoo was a library of lost souls. How the soul stared on blinking from behind glass enclosures. How the glass was etched with the hieroglyphics of rage. How you made an origami figure of a small boy staring how some boys cry with their fists. How some boys hang themselves from the thin edges of their smiles. How they told you that white was the colour that contained all others. How your skin became a colour that contained you. How skin becomes insignia. How they sold black back to you at inflated prices, how rainbows are portents, how rainbows are borders, how you travelled to the other side of the rainbow and met a stranger travelling back the way you had come, how the stranger looks like you, how you are a stranger, how your ancestors will be born after you, everything you have ever lost is in here, how they spat at you and the saliva became a sea and you sailed easily across it to the other side of your heart how your heart was a tectonic plate how your heart rubbed how it drifted apart how other people set up home on the opposite side of your heart to you how they sent smoke signals how you answered how your words turned to ash and blew away how your voice was thin ice you were afraid to walk across how silence was a song your enemy taught you how the last bus home took you to another man's city how home keeps moving how our streets were gentrified how they gentrified our stages how we were forced out of our own mouths how you were raped some by a high court judge how judges wigs on mushroom clouds floating over the horizon how your dreams were trained to walk in tight circles how your dreams were dogs how your father was a bomb and your mother rich in minerals how you were dead Tom how you were dead son and death brought you flowers and you said thank you but you men how death waited outside all night how pebbles against windows sound like aleppo how your mouth was a tornado that drew the whole town to it you have ever lost is here when you could have let love sit beside you on a broken back sofa and change the channel so when maybe only one hand was required when perhaps if you'd placed each palm print beside each other, you might have found that they made an atlas that could have led you out of here, and love could have woken you, and you could have fallen, and through falling, uncovered the archaeology of your wings, when after the grey apocalypse that no one else noticed, you might have realised trees hold hands beneath the earth, how you learn to hold hands beneath the earth you have never lost here here is the music of your brother breathing here is the shape of your mother 
Here is the shadow that abandoned you. Here is your unfound song. Here is the legend of your lost tongue. Here are your teeth, your brittle, your bone. Everything you have ever lost, it's here. And I've come to bring you home. Thank you very much. with a swear word. Uh, <laughs> that's it. We're done. I just want to say thanks to uh, all our lovely mums that performed on the open mic, myself included. Thank you very much for participating in that. Uh, particular thank you to Isabel. First time on stage. Give her a big clap. I really like how you did it. Did it, did it. So it was like, oh yeah, it's just like, I haven't rehearsed this before. This or whatever. And it was great. Yeah. You know, it was really great. Thank you. And um, thank you to Chloe who opened the show. Come on. And Carmina. And Catch Napolo. Forgetting the fabulous Jarrell Taylor <laughs> and the lovely chaplains for having us and my lovely <laughs> Sean behind the desk over there. <laughs> Get a tiny little shout. <laughs> uh, I just want to tell you we used to have word makers every couple of months, but uh, there's lots of stuff going on for me personally. And then part one of our team members like away half the year, so it makes it difficult. But I'm doing lots of gigs, so the next word maker is going to be in May, and not April. And uh, it's going to be actually the date of our third birthday. So for that, uh, we decided that we're going to have a game show, poetry game show, with a team from Bristol battling Bournemouth, and uh, it'll be all improv. Uh, based on Mock the Week, so what could go wrong? <laughs> uh, and last time we gave 